video on uh, how to do subsetting, filtering, or data extraction from a larger data frame. So what we have here is a data set uh, with a lot of data. And uh, what I've asked you to do in homework and what you will have to do often with uh, data sets is to filter it, as in uh, select a certain subset of this data that is relevant for your, um, for your uh, question. Uh, in order to do this, uh, I will uh, write down here the general template for uh, what you do. Uh, you type in the uh, df, the name of the variable, which I've defined on line 7 as uh, df, and then you use a square bracket. Inside the square bracket, you can uh, specify two terms. Uh, one of them, and the curly bracket is actually not, not important or not necessary, I'm just wanting to make a comment here. Uh, so inside here you specify a row filter and a column filter. This is the general um, structure of, uh, of the, the subsetting function in R. So with the row filter you can decide which rows you want returned in the, um, in the data frame. Uh, in, for example, I've asked you to select just routine and just follow up, uh, follow up uh, rows and nothing else. Uh, whereas a column filter can select particular columns. So if you don't want all of these returned, you could select just to get, for example, uh, the data on, on uh, the number of critical or the number of non-critical uh, issues in, the, in a restaurant and nothing else. Uh, so let's take a look at how this would look like. Uh, um, in, a, in a real example here. So if I type in df, uh, now I need to specify the, the, the criteria for our uh, filter. So we want to say that we're interested in inspection type, which is this column right here with words such as follow-up and routine. And uh, we want to say that it's uh, um, we want to ask if it's equal to, uh, for example, routine follow-up uh, or follow-up uh, visits, then we want that selected. In this case, we just, in this particular data frame, we want just the routine ones. And then I specify a comma and I, I state no column filter because I want all of the columns returned. So if I run this line, you can see that uh, we actually got a lot of data in return and uh, it only contains routine inspections. And so this can be saved as a variable. And so very similarly, I can do this for follow-up as well. And it's uh, very important that you use the exact spelling of the words that are found in these fields. So follow up, for example, with um, a capital F, capital U, and a dash, and routine with a capital R. And once they're saved, then you can use them in your subsequent calculations everywhere else.